What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. To All the Boys I've Loved Before is definitely one of the most successful movies released these last few years. Everyone loved the perfect story the movie has to offer, and after what seemed like a decade, the sequel is finally here. After you've watched To All the Boys, P.S. I Still Love You, or you're preparing to watch it, we're here to tell you more about the strict rules the cast of To All the Boys had to follow while filming the sequel. Balancing Work and Personal Life According to an NBC News profile of Condor, she practiced with the famous Joffrey Ballet in Chicago and then the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater in New York. When Condor and her family moved to Los Angeles, she joined a drama program for the first time. Being around actors kind of made the dream more of a reality, the actress told. Oh, and you guys, she was also a competitive equestrian, so she's living a pretty busy life. Now, depends on how busy they are, actors always need to follow this rule, balance their private life and professional life, or sometimes balance one project with their other work projects. Much of the cast of To All The Boys works on a lot of projects at the same time. In their life, they are all having long periods of being very busy, maybe four to five months, and then there's a period when they take a rest, a couple of week offs, probably. But since the cast of To All The Boys was busy filming the sequel in such a short period, we're assuming that they weren't really able to take a long rest. However, as the busier ones, their free time is minimized and they can't do anything about it. And we're pretty sure that the cast of To All The Boys enjoyed every second of being busy working on the project. Well, every actor would, since it's better than being idle. Permission Before Posting On Social Media we are always waiting for actors to post something about their upcoming projects on social media, since that's the only way we can find out more about the movie we're all waiting for impatiently. And when actors post these kinds of things, they often need approval from the directors about it. Also, they need to be very careful about what they reveal, since they can inadvertently share secret information. So, in many cases, actors need to have their social media posts approved beforehand required to sign multi-movie contracts. Every actor of a movie or a TV show needs to sign a contract. The contract is usually with the employer for a particular project, and there isn't a time limit to the number of movies they can do. The only thing they are limited by is their schedule. Actors who find themselves landing roles in sequels are often asked to sign long-term contracts. With it, they agree to appear as a particular character several times, or as the case with a To All The Boys is three times. The contract is because fans get to connect actors with certain roles. If we were to see Lana Condor or Noah Centineo replaced by other actors, the movie would not be so enjoyable. Come on, come on, okay. come on you got this. Okay. There we go, and you're up. Okay, now do you want me to call someone, get you some water? No, I'm okay. Not getting a lot of creative freedom. When it comes to creative control, actors are not the ones to choose because usually the director is in full control, which is leaving actors with no opportunity to bring their ideas on the table. Some people think this is why Edward Norton was replaced by Mark Ruffalo in the MCU. Apparently, he was being unsatisfied with his character. He wanted some changes and, well, he got something else. But with the cast of the To All The Boys, it seems like this is not a problem, although they must respect the word of the director they seem to encounter the perfect director who provides them with the perfect working conditions. And here's an example. In the scene when Lara and Chris arrive at the ski lodge, they begin to discuss Chris attending an EDM concert, which was never written in their script. Arthur, Chris, told Shine on Media that the scene was ad-libbed. Have to lie? The very strict rule actors need to follow is what they can and cannot say about a film. So is the case with the cast of the To All The Boys movie, especially when it comes to big spoilers. We have thousands of fans on the internet and they often try to figure stuff out. One little mistake by an actor can result in a whole Tom Holland situation. Sure, the To All The Boys I've Loved Before movies are based on Jenny Han's book series of the same name, so spoilers have always been out there. But that didn't stop fans from trying to find out if Lara Jean Covey would choose John Ambrose McLaren over Peter Kavinsky, or vice versa. However, 
Not everything goes the way the books are written, so often the cast of the To All the Boys movie have found themselves in situations where they have to lie in an interview so they won't release some important information about their projects. And here's an interesting fact. This is not the case with the To All the Boys movies, but most of the actors don't know the endings of their movies, such as actors from studios like Marvel and Disney. Frequently, they are only sending their stars' scripts covered in black tape. So guys, actors often lie because they are told so, and the only reason is for us to enjoy the movie more when we get to go see it. Always look the part. An actor going into a character is not only emotional, but physical. If an actor isn't visually impressive in their role, it can ruin the whole story, and sometimes becoming a character needs improvement. In To All the Boys, it was Lana's job to morph into their character, but the movie was also great because of the whole perfectly picked cast and the production artists. It's unbelievable how the actor's presentation can change the believability of a story, and to see an Asian American character in this kind of movie was refreshing, and somehow it looks like no other person would represent the role better than Lara Jean. To All the Boys I've Loved Before, T A T B I L B, has been recognized as the first mainstream teen romance to feature an Asian American lead. Constantly working. To All the Boys 3 has been filmed, but Netflix has made fans waiting for the third movie. It has announced in August 2019 that production had already started on a follow up to the sequel. To All the Boys, P.S. I Still Love You, and lead star Lana Condor confirmed in February 2020 that filming had wrapped. And the cast of To All the Boys has been working constantly on filming the movie and trying to promote it the best way they can, since with the coronavirus pandemic, Hollywood has been slow getting people to gather at promotions and those kind of things. However, we were surprised to know that the third movie is already filmed, and we can't even guess how hard the cast was working since they finished in such a short period. And we are happy they weren't affected by the pandemic because the Los Angeles County, the place to the biggest movie and TV studios, provided a green light in June for filming to continue with protection. Larger organizations issued a 36-page report outlining safety measures. Producers had hoped to have many sets working again in August, and the situation with Hollywood got so complicated. Avoiding Scandal It has happened to all of us. Well, maybe not the kind of scandal celebrities go through, but work with us here. Let's pretend for a minute. We often do stupid things sometimes. Well, more often social media is involved. For example, we share some intensive jokes on Twitter. However, this is a rule the cast of To All The Boys must follow. Never, ever share offensive content on social media or say some offensive things in interviews. And if that happens, it might end up with the worst situation, the actor being removed from the movie. Remember Kevin Hart's situation? He was announced as the host for the 2019 Academy Awards, and he publicly stepped down from the gig when a series of his old homophobic tweets resurfaced. No spoilers. If an actor of To All The Boys accidentally shared some spoilers, he won't end up in some serious situation, but the last thing movie directors want is spilling the beans about an upcoming project, especially about some certain crucial plot elements while filming. Can you guys imagine if spoiling a movie were made illegal? How many actors would end up in jail just because it's too easy to accidentally reveal a spoiler? Making advertising and press tours is part of an actor's job in Hollywood. It can be hard to keep hyping up a new project without inadvertently giving away any big secrets. But as it happened many times in these last few years, mistakes are made. And here's an extra strict rule the cast of To All the Boys must follow. While on set, they have to keep their mobile phones switched off. They don't have too many breaks, but they are only allowed to use their phone on their short breaks. Preparing for character Before the cast of To All the Boys went into characters, they had to prepare for their roles. And we're not talking about reading lines. It also means that the actors needed to go insane lengths to stay in character. Just imagine the things that they did to entirely go into performing emotional scenes in front of indifferent crew members so that the audience can later decide if their performance is good. And here's a fun fact. On the set of filming, there was a To All The Boys I've Loved Before Get Ready pack, and it was created to help the Condor get into character. It included Korean snacks, sheet masks, candles, a diary, and stationery. So cute. We end our video here, guys. Let us know what do you think about these rules the cast of To All The Boys must follow. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing videos such as this. Thanks for watching.